Hey guys, this is Paul Inventor 3. Uh, this is an update video on the free energy from air. And <laughs> the sucker's still under there. Some days he's covered with snow, some days rain. He's protected. Let's go inside real quick. Uh, whoops, almost tripped. <laughs> All right. Um, so the last thing that we were doing is, well, we had a lot of voltage now, over 125 volts. And that's what we worked on all last year, was getting the voltage up, concentrating on that instead of current. And there's a reason for that. Okay, I believe we can get current back at the end. But I want to show you something with charging the capacitor. Um, now... When, uh, it doesn't matter how many volts I get that circuit up to, whether it's putting out 30 volts or 125 volts, some people will ask, oh, well, what happens when you connect it up to the load? And, well, it drops right back down to 2.4 volts. And I'm talking about the load that I've been using for years, the string of 21 LEDs, same load, um, so yeah, the voltage does drop back down. And you say, you do Ohm's Law, and you're like, well, you're getting the same amount of power, whether you get more voltage or not. But, see, here's, here's the thing. When my circuit only put out, like, 30 volts, I think it was 32, 33, and at that time, I charged that capacitor... 3500 microfarad 50 volt I charged that up to 30 volts which was very close to the source and that took three hours uh, here's where I started doing some math on uh, you know the energy and the columns and Let's see here. I should have rewrote this for you guys. I'm sorry I did. That's my jet heater kicking on. I'll just talk a little louder. Um, now, when we had 30 volts, let's see, it comes out to 1.5, 1.6 joules. Now, when I get the circuit producing like 125 volts, I charged it up to 40 volts and you can see that comes out to 2.8 joules now when my circuit was only producing about 32 volts this took three hours to charge up to that 330 volts now when I have 125 volts I was able to charge up to 40 volts two hours and it would have kept going much higher but the point is you know you've got more energy whether you you know just look at how many joules you get over three hours as opposed to how many joules you get in two hours uh, I don't know if this is worded correctly. I, I, this kind of confuses me here. I remember reading this. If the energy is discharged over one second, then it is equal to 2.8 watts. Is that correct? I don't understand that. I had that written over here, too. But anyhow, guys, see, there's, there's a reason that I've been going after voltage. You had more energy there, and in less time. So, that's about it. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, I've already got plans for the next video here. Now, I've started thinking about the next stage of this. What we're going to do with that. Now that we got a good amount of voltage. <laughs> so, I started working on that. 
and great things have been happening. Uh, you know, over 17 years of, of concentrating in certain areas of science, putting all the pieces together, you know, studying certain free energy and over unity type devices. You know, number one important things to consider is resonance, number one. Uh, two is open circuits. Coupling, magnetic, induction, capacitance, you want a coupling, you want a no load situation. Number three, voltage. Forget about the current, you could always get that back later. Four, high frequency. You want that skin effect, you want to ride on the outside of a conductor, not through the middle of it. So, anyhow guys, with that said, things are getting very exciting, and you do not want to miss out on my next video. Now, we'll see you soon.